Welcome to Oracle SQL and PLSQL session. This is one more example of functions. Just I have created one table. I'm, I'm creating one table, employee info. So employee, employee ID here, it is a primary key, first name and last name. Just I'm creating table called employee info. And I'm creating one more table, employee address details. This is employee details and their address details. We are maintaining it in different table. So different table. So how can I join these two table? So by using this employee ID. Okay, this employee residing this particular address, right? So for each address, I will give address ID. Okay, in this address, this particular employee, this particular city, that's what we are maintaining the, the relationship. If you see this reference. Which one is the parent table? If you give reference for this employee, which one in this two tables, which one we have to create first? Employee table or address details table? Which one should be created first? We should create employee info table. Why? Because we are referencing here. If you straight away, if you go and create this table, since you are referring this table, it cannot be created. That's why we are creating this table first. And then second, okay, this table. So, okay. So even I got one question uh, from one of the student, uh, this kind of error. Okay, if you are getting this kind of error, if you are finding this kind of error, it is clearly showing that, okay, so always if you are running any statement, if you are getting any error, right? Okay, just to look at this error. Okay, this is what you can improve your knowledge. So it's very simple. The showing name is already used to be an existing object. That means we have already created table. It has been already created on the same name. You cannot create one more time, right? So even if you are not able to understand, just to copy this error. Okay, control C and the Google it and find okay what is the error. So that is what we can improve our knowledge. Okay, so now I'm going to insert some data. Okay, two two records. I'm just inserting, right? So two records for this employee info. Two employees, Rakesh and John. So that I'm going to insert it. And I'm going to insert their address here, right? Which address they are looking uh, working at. If you want, you can make it like a different address. Okay. So if you want, you can make it like a different address here. So I'm just uh, two rows inserted. I will insert another two rows. I'm just committing it. So finally, we can commit it, no issues. And I'll go for some functions. You see this, what is the function will do? What is the function will do? Creating a function, get complete address. Okay, so to get the complete address, I'm creating the function. What is this? Create or replace. Okay, I got one question related to this one. How to use alter procedure statement? Alter procedure means you want to alter the definitions. Alter the definition, you have to use replace. See, normally alter, alter function, we will not do it. We will go for create or replace. So you have already created. But again, if you, are, if you want to modify it, that's why we are using or replace. Okay. So create or replace function, function name. We are passing the employee ID as the input parameter. Even if you don't mention here input parameter, give you error or it will it will execute. See, even if you don't mention here in, by default it will be it will be considered as input parameter. Okay. So remember this. Sometimes they will not give any input parameter here in here. If you are making function or procedure something like this, if you are if they are not mentioning anything here, so you can assume that okay, it's the in in parameter get complete address okay address is where care right so just to, that that is the reason i'm returning this where care to no need to mention the length of the where care to just to, you can mention return where care to and within this is and begin it is a variable a variable i'm getting employee details it is a where care to of one thirty characters i'm just mentioning okay begin so begin and end so within the begin and end i'm using one select statement that's it okay select 
all the details okay name hyphen it will take first name right emp dot first name what is emp emp is nothing but employee info we here we are making like last name right so employee info what is address address is nothing but employee address details see there is no table like address there is no table like emp whatever this is alias name okay table alias we have seen column alias right but this is called a table alias whenever you are looking at any join queries that's what you have to interpret okay first name you are getting then last name city state country and zip code the employee id is there in different table you are passing the employee id okay it will get joined these two values okay then you will get employee address as the output right employee details employee details is nothing but the concatenation of all the values right all the values so if you pass this employee id here you will get concatenation of all the values and it will be stored as the employee details so 130 characters 130 characters even you can go for 1000 characters no issues and if you see this how many characters maximum i can use per cat 2 4000 character correct if if i have more than 4000 character how can i handle it log okay your log you want to send one particular log into one particular column job error log you have to okay this is a job id this job has been executed status equal to fail if the status equal to fail you have to put the error log status equal to success then put here the success log that should be put in one particular column so how can i handle it if it is more than 4000 characters you have to use lob large object okay so this is what we are selecting here and we are storing it into this temporary variable right this variable after that so select statement into this and we are returning it finally so you can use okay so if i am not going to use end to get complete address will it fail or it will not fail so what is this why we have to use end this one is it mandatory or without this also i can run so without this also you can run so why we are writing this way right just we are mentioning okay here we are starting here begin and we are ending this the end statement we may have so many end statement right uh, end if end loop so all this you'll have case statement all the end will have so we may not know if you are going to write a big query right big plsql code we may not know which end it, it is so if you are using lot of your statement case statement and procedures and everything in the inside the package you are using lot of end statement then we may not know so which one it is getting in that's why i'm using end here okay so even if you don't use yes it will run so i'm just compiling it so compile on time so get complete address compiled so how can i execute see if you have employee id in one particular table and this is a table right say for an example select start from employee info okay employee info this is a table right this table i'm just executing so what is the column you will get you will get first name this first underscore name sorry employee id you want right so i need employee id first name then their address i do not want last name i need address so how can i pass here how can i get the address here just to take this address it complete address here so this is the function name so use the function name here you have to pass the emp id right so that should be that should be a parameter here right in parameter yes if you pass this this emp id or the corresponding employee id it will display the address right see here see how you are uh, displaying it from where you are getting this this particular details you are running the statement from employee info but how you are getting the employee address so you can make 
addresses the column name so we are not joining the table we are not joining the table right somebody has already did the code somebody has already did the code your customer is running the code okay your customer they are they are running some calculation they want to do it they have employee id if they are making the employee id here it should calculate your year end tax you assume that in that way they need to get year end tax for every employee id and their first name all these details they will send only employee id as the input parameter that's it but how they are getting all the details here somebody else already written this particular code so that's what we will write the function see this function is called user define function so what is the function it is called user define function so our own customized function so this function is not available in oracle by default right so we have written you know, how we will write substring in string concatenate all this same way we have used one function called get complete address so even if you are if you are removing all this okay if you are removing all this you are saying your customer that in our project we have one function called get complete address if you pass the employee id it will give you the address that's it we may not know what is there in the inside the this function right see that is the use of functions in real time project even if you want to run this way you can run from dual yes from dual if you are running you have to hard code the value right so just i am passing the value in here but if you want to run this way also you can run it since it is a function you can pass it from statement the simply statement okay and you can execute so you can simply mention that i am passing the value here so this way also execute dbms output get complete address of 20 so i'm just passing this right so it will give you a complete address of the 20th employee this way also i can execute same way we are having person person salary details so we are giving the same way here and we create our replace function we are calculating the tax some calculation we are doing it so inside but you can write this way okay say for an example select full name we are selecting and we are selecting the salary as annual salary and salary dot year just we are taking which year and calculate tax so what is this calculate tax with a function name so this function name will be called and even you can pass this value since we are using uh, this person right so 101 what is this from which table it is coming so 101 it's coming from person so you can mention that person dot person table person dot person id so that you can pass it here no issues person id is there in two tables right so you have to mention person dot person id so if you are passing this way no need to pass like hard coded value here that's it so you can pass it if two persons are there you will get all the two person name dual you can you can no use it dual you can use it no issues dual means you are passing the value hard coded value right so here if you're using dual dual means you are passing the value right you are passing the hard coded value if you see this i go to the above one see this is what dual so what is the difference you are seeing here the above one and this one you you only can put but you are you cannot put the employee id first name here so why because it's a dual dummy table i'm passing in as the hard coded value here right hard coded value but if you have hundreds of employee id or all the employee id one by one we won't need to pass like this right so you can run like this and it should be executed for Will be passed in the runtime. 